We're taking a big gamble with this one this week so here goes people. Somewhere out there you will find the wonderful Mr. Red. Won't be long darling I've washed your car now I'm going down to see Ed in his shed. Don't be long darling because you know you've got to clean the windows this afternoon. I really don't know why we have to clean them all every day I really don't but who am I to argue just a slave with a duster is what I am. Darling we really don't have to but you do now don't be long yet. Of course sorry darling just a slip of the tongue yeah I'll be as quick as I can. Hello dudes, I am Mr. Head. Yeah, Mr. Ed is back in town people and this time he said that he is gonna really get out of his box and who are we to argue? A horse is a horse of course of course. And no one can talk to a horse of course. That is of course unless the horse is the famous Mr. Ed. Do, 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 do. Go straight to the source and ask the horse. He'll give you the answer that you'll endorse. He's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. Ed. Well fed Ed that's this week's gripping episode for you lucky people. How's it rolling Ed? Hi Mike well you know we've all got our problems and you've got yours endorsed dude. Sure you heard her yeah I'm wearing out glass and skin up there that's my lot in life these days. Are we going for a brisk canter over the meadows bright green and forest stock when you're finished dude? Have we ever man really one day when I find a saddle to fit you then we'll be out there with the best of them I promise you. Yeah and until then I have to hang about down here all day getting bored. Bored you've got all my toys down here you've even got my Wurlitzer and what do you do with it yeah just play one disc on it day and night. I love me and my shadow it's my one and only favorite Mike. Well, it's not mine, that's for sure. You're running up the electric bill. Yeah, she is watching that meter big time and giving me grief, I can tell you. You promised me you were gonna have a word with her about me moving up there with you and becoming a proper part of the family. The family up there consists of me and her in a budgie with a buckle beak after you took it for a novelty can opener. She'll have none of it after last time we let you in, man. She had me hoovering the stairs carpet for days on end after she threw you out. Well you put me in the attic dude, I would have been happy kidding on the sofa no problem. You mean the sofa that not two bottles of vanish and seven packs of Wanda wipes could clear the disgusting dribble you left behind dude. Okay so I dribble when I nod off yeah, it was you and your missus who chose to have such a boring conversation. Boring my friend is watching Black Beauty three times on the trot that's when after some debate we thought we'd try something a bit different you know. Really well the godfather gave me nightmares big time and I really lost my head over it. She's not going to let you back in the house dude just forget it you're well fed and watered down here aren't you there's many a nag who would appreciate your swag. Well solid what time are we going up the shops then? I'm fed up with getting that horse box out just to take you up the shops so you can choose your own sweets I really am. Don't start sulking to get your own weight as you do every day dude. You know I like me little run up the shops to give me a break from being in here. Look at the size of this paddock you never step foot out here man. Really well aren't you supposed to lead me round on a rope instead of cleaning off a ladder with a duster in your hand. I have my duties dude you know that. Go and get me box ready and I'll put me shoes on. You spend at least an hour up and down the aisles of the sweet shop and what do you come out with do tell me the same bag of sweets every day. You know I like me fishermen friends they are good for me breath yeah. Scratch me bad for me man. What back there's no back there you're an embarrassment to take out you really are. Just a bit lower dude thanks you're a real mate you are. This is getting to be a real joke. Give me a good kiss dude I know you love me. I think I found you a job man. A job yeah for me go on I'm always in the manky hat. Yeah it's a bit of a dead end job though. No problem man anything to get me out of here yeah so where is it tell me. It's in a local glue factory they said you're just what they are looking for. Great well do they want to use me for I am rather versatile I am. Oh nothing too strenuous they want you to help stick some boxes together for a while. Really and what about my shadow? Your glimmin shadow what are you on about dude? 
Well me and my shadow we stick together like glue and we'll be for some time yet now go and get the box ready cause we're going down the shops then you can get back to do the windows. Just sod off and do it dude. Yes boss. A horse is a horse of course of course. And no one talks to a horse of course. Unless of course. It's the amazing. Mr. Ed. You've missed a bit in the corner and you're not coming down until you get it right for a perfect 10 out of 10 darling yeah perfect in block capitals got it. Yes darling. Sound of time a slave to love. Oh you. You are not his boss I am yeah we had an agreement remember. Got it dude. Yes boss three bags for boss. Me and my shadow strolling down the avenue. Me and my shadow. We stick together like glue yab. Yeah. Life is gonna be a wow wow we for my shadow and me. I've been watching you and you've been talking to the blimmin' horse again, haven't you? Nosy Nigel out on community watch again, yeah at least I've got Ed to chat to unlike someone who only has himself to talk to while he creeps about amongst the bushes. Someone has to keep a lookout for weirdos. You can do that in the comfort of your own home with a mirror dude, why come out and get your slippers muddy, tell me. Far too many cookies, that's your problem man you're an underground hippie, is what you are and you're living on cloud 9 as far as I can see. Sop off out of my backyard before I set the dogs on you. You ain't got no blimmin' dogs dude. And you ain't got no life so as I just said sop off loser go and get one if you're not too late. Do -do -do -do. Well I think I won that round what say you people? No way dudes I see the loser down big time yeah. The people have spoken loser now shut the gate after you or the dogs will get out. Oh yeah come on talk to me come on I know you can. Think about it dude me and you on stage yeah we get on a top talent show and then we get booted and suited and straight onto boot camp yeah we could get ripped quick dude. Oh well sod you dude you're gonna end up in the glue factory if you hang about here much longer yeah don't say I didn't warn you. Come on dude save Ed from the glue factory yeah get your money out and form a K to get an Ed special yeah just do it dudes. Oh yeah one more thing before you go dudes. Mr. Ed was created using an image obtained from Photobucket and is the work of a really far out artist whoever he is or you are as the case may be you see yeah keep prowling dudes. Yak at the yak people. Give us a call right now, dudes, for your free Mr. Red Car sticker. Yeah, don't tell all your friends until you've got yours. Yeah, thank on your four feet, dudes. Where is he? I'm gonna kill him. Serious? Why do this to me this week? Why, dudes? Tell me. Yeah, saw it. This has not been a film ways presentation.